Welcome back to our channel guys, we are Andre and Lisa and we've been traveling full time for over 4 years now. We're currently in the south of Spain with our campervan Mali. Today we're planning on driving along the coast from Mojacar to show you all the beautiful camper stops available in this area. We'll start in Carucha where we slept next to a castle, move on to Vera Playa with the stretch out beach along the bay, on to Velaricos with a vast open plain, Playa Dolores with its black sand and to end along a beautiful coastal drive with a castle. Good morning. Good morning. I want to say it's a lovely winter's morning in the south of Spain, but it's quite chilly. The We're sun's excited. Out. The, the sun's, sun's out, out and it's going to warm up. There's Billy there in the background somewhere. Hello. Oh, lovely. So what's our plan, Lisa? Our plan is to make the most of a sunny Sunday in Spain. So just behind us actually is a small town called Mojacar, but we'll do a separate video on Mojacar. Now we're still hanging around here in um, Andalusia, it's actually Almeria. So we're going to do a bunch of shorter videos in the next few weeks as we do a bit of exploration in the area. But today we're pretty much heading to that peninsula over there. This little village here behind me is Carucha and actually funny story about two months ago we slept outside that castle in, in Mali. We had the most beautiful, spectacular, spectacular sunrise this morning right oh, from bed over stunning. the ocean. Oh. Beautiful, look at that. Sunday morning so it's super quiet. <laughs> it's a little bit dirty. And at that point we did not think we would ever be returning to Carucha. Oh, classic. I'm try to drive up this road, maybe about 25, 30 kilometers and just go explore a little bit in that peninsula. Apparently it's very beautiful. Okay, you ready to move on? Let's go check out this coast a little bit. You want to stay in the castle tonight? Yes, I want to stay in the castle. Mm. Okay, maybe we want to stay at the castle, in the castle. Welcome back to my castle. This is the castle we stayed at a few months ago in Garucha. Now, we're not sure exactly whether it's allowed throughout the year, but there's actually plenty of places to stop here in Garucha as well. You can go to the port, or you can go past the port to the beaches, and there's also plenty of spots. Which are a lot more level and open. Mm -hmm. But this is an option. Outside, sleeping outside a castle is special. And if you go a little bit further back to Moyakar, there's also some spots. Mm, there's this. one parking area there and I think it's only accepted off-season. You really have to go a little bit more north up the coast towards San Juan de los Terreros. We're going to head that way now and we'll show you those spots. No. Stop off here at Vera Playa. Oh, yeah. The far distance on that side you can see Mojacar. Oh, just been around where we just came from. In Garucha. It's actually Garucha Harbour there where you see those cranes, eh? Yeah. And then past that is Mojacar. Obviously it's now out of season, so a hmm. bunch of campers parked here, clearly overnighting, so not bad. Not bad. And this is one of the things that I just love about Spain is just have a look at these wide open beaches. Obviously it's not beach weather so we won't be going for a swim, but look at this right? beach! I got my bikini, I mean, <laughs> okay. look at that side Lisa. Wow. That, uh, those guys look like it's wow. beach spots there. See, this is what van life is all about. Sure, I tell you. Because most days, especially this part of the world, is sunny. Absolutely glorious, beautiful. Did we mention this is January? Fine. Middle of January, supposed to be the coldest month in Spain. Not too bad.
Yeah, this is not. Oh, wow, look at this guy's little cool uh, car, eh? They're right outside the little town of Belaricos, and this enormous, enormous area here, right on the beach, with, I don't know, is there like 50, 50 vans here? here? 50 vans, I like, would look say. Look at the space. I mean, this is ridiculous. How many people could be Man, this is the spot. I don't particularly think this is better than the one we were earlier. No, but it's, I mean, it's an incredibly big level spot. Oh my lord. I think if it gets wet here, you might get flooding, I wonder. Like, um, idle flooding. Oh, here I go. It's possible, yeah. Check out cool. Ooh, look at that cool little truck. Now there's a pop of those back. That is weird. Look at this. I think he lives oh, in that capsule. One. Yeah, this one here. Yeah. This one isn't a, a Unimog, but the other one is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. España! You know what's amazing is that we count dozens of vans here, and I, I can't even tell you whether there's two of the same. No! They're it's all different. Crazy. It's they're, such they're a variety. absolutely all different. So cool. It's just so beautiful to see this kind of lifestyle being so accepted and welcomed. Welcome to Playa La Dolores, a black sand and pebble beach. Also, no a shortage of campers here. I'm a little bit that way. Uh, and I think we've shown you a few stops already, but really this time of the year, plenty of options. What makes this little area a bit different is the black volcanic rock here. Yeah, check this out. Quite stunning. Again. Molten lava. Whoa. What kind of rock? Bring you to nice places, don't I? Mmm, <laughs> not bad. No, we can walk out there, but, but I think we've got to have a snack so first. Cool. You like a snack? Yes, please. Time yeah. for tapas. Tapas! Ah, uh, we call it. It's always time for tapas in my book. Awesome. I love Molly. I love our home. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful, yeah. You're going? <laughs> Ooh, this looks scary. Huh. Have I mentioned I love Spain? Some beautiful parking spots here along this coast. If you just want to stop for a coffee or a bite to eat, crazy. It's very beautiful. And we've I need to have about 20 kilometers? I think so. <laughs> Every three to five kilometers we stop and find another amazing place. And there's all these ruins all the way along the coast as well. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. It's really beautiful. We're probably not even going to make it to the end of this little stretch. Next time we'll drive straight to what's that town? This is San Juan de los Terreros. So if you're just around this little peninsula, yeah. And I've seen that there's hiking trails there at Cabo Cap Cabo. So next time we'll go all the way to that peninsula and go hiking on the top of that mountain. And we'll explore that section in the following video. But this this time around we're just enjoying the peacefulness, yeah. 
Well, we thought that we were going to cover about 50 kilometers of the stretch of coast today, but we haven't even done 20 kilometers. It's just too beautiful. We have found so many amazing places where you can overnight with a camper. Obviously, this is off season, so maybe some of these areas are not available in peak season. And then there's just so many places along the coast where you can stop for a coffee, for a snack. But next time, we will start at San Juan de los Terreros and we will make it all the way to the Cape over there. And there's a big mountain and nature reserve, which I've seen that you can go hiking in. Hope you enjoyed the stretch of Spanish coast with us. We absolutely love Spain. See you in the next video.